coming off on the front just above the exhaust there's actually an antenna there that actually helps him on the uh, steering as he's going down the run so it actually guides where the front of the, the machine is so he get, it gives him a reference of where where he should actually be so it's just basically an aid for the driver he still has to manually drive himself but it is all there uh, so it tells him quite a lot of information on there obviously we get we get the guidance as to where the actual uh, machine should be in relation to the run. Obviously he's just a little bit off to one side because he's, he's actually moving out now. Um, but this is actually the reference off his previous run. So this is the design that he's done. So this is the drain that he's just installed. So you can see he's come on a fairly flat grade up to the low point here. And then after, once he's got through that low point it's automatically been bringing the machine up. Um, at the moment these white crosshairs is actually where, where the antenna is in relation to this drain so you can obviously see he's lifted lifted out so what he'll do on the next next run he'll go onto the design screen choose whichever section it is I assume it's section 16 oh, well. so the first line below the blue that's the yeah. top of the field so what so what this is here this is actually the top of the, the field yeah so this red line here will actually be his minimum depth so it's what he puts in there yeah. The maximum depth is this blue line here, so that's the physical limit of what the machine can actually dig. And obviously, that last slope look, he actually installed that at 0.09% of slope. So what he'll do, it, you'll see this uh, when he moves on to the next drain, he'll actually drop the machine into the starting position, he'll hit the measure, that'll actually reference where it is, and then this design screen will all come to life, and he can actually set all the parameters for that next drain that he's doing. Once he's finished, and done with it. Um, we've obviously got auto button to engage the hydraulics of the machine. This, what will happen then, this, uh, this screen will actually automatically control the, the height references of the machine. The login button here, what that does, he's got a series of pipe sizes that he, he's, he's choosing. Obviously he's installing 80mm pipe here, so the login button is actually set to record one of those. So that last shot's on the presentation that I gave you where there was a, a map there. That actually is what's, uh, what's recorded here. So everywhere this machine drives then with that logging button actually engaged, it's actually recording its position and its elevation. So that's what generates the map. So he starts it when he st he's into the ditch and he switches it off just before he lifts out at the far end. That obviously records then the whole length of that drain for the software then to pick up on and use. Obviously, it's various cables and bits tied in. We've got the valve drive in here. Um, but basically what it's done, it's, we've actually tied all this system into the existing uh, wiring and controls of the machine. So that not only can we drive it manually with the standard controls, we've actually got the option to, to use it automatically as well. as well. Yeah, so if everything does go wrong, you can drive it manually. Yeah. Nobody ever would.